Namaste. Hi. Do you experience nerve compression in your sacrolumbar region? Heavy hips, tired lower back from prolonged sitting or from your sport? Or if you do your morning jog or run, you can do the sequence to release the, the pressure there. All right. Lying on our tummies. It's yeah. yeah. so a supported practice, this one. Yeah. Have here like folded blankets so you can yeah, allow the joints to relax on the soft cushion, smooth cushion. All right. So from there, just folding both knees. Yeah. Rest your full arms and let the head fall to one side. And then you just circle around there. Good. So easy. Yeah. Knee circles. Release compression in their knee joints. Relax the head. And you can breathe this one. Yeah. Inhale as the knees move closer to you. Exhale to relax them away from you. And don't rush. A coordinated breath and movement. Good for calming and relaxing the mind. Yeah. Good. Inhale and as you exhale. Lightly limp them and then let them fall like that. Yeah. Good. You might find your leg, you might feel your legs crossing organically. Yeah. Limping joints, soft knees, relaxed feet. All right. And then just reversing the direction. Yeah. And then reversing the breath pattern too. And this time, exhale as they move closer to us. And inhale as they move away. Good. Exhale, close. Inhale. Exhaling. Right. If you feel strain in the neck, feel free to turn the head the other way. And then just combine, you know. Maybe half circle and full circle round. Half circle, full circle round. And then you will notice the need to adjust the shoulders and the spine. And then when you feel that, you know, just let the legs fall. You know. Inhale. Exhale, limping. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. I just had a quick... Um, 4K run, and after that, uh, my hip flexors and then the joints and the low back feel a bit heavy, so this is my way of decompressing them. All right. And then just uh, swim the legs like this, and then crisscross them. The idea is to relax the joints, and with a soft cushion under your body, you know, that helps you yeah, ease the tension in the joints and then letting the weight of the legs fall from side to side and then combine them all together, circles and then swimming, feel it, yeah, crisscross them and side to side them. Good. And then and let them fall, and then just stay there. You might massage your feet by circling. Toes, ankles, and rise and fall. Transfer the head too. All right. You may look opposite, actually. Yeah. Inhale, exhale, legs fall, look away. Inhale, rise, exhale, change. One more per side. Inhaling. Exhaling. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. And then from there, yeah, lifting one side up. And let the body fan. And lifting the same side too. Yeah. We release the side trunk already. And how do you breathe this one? Exhale down. Inhale to a light flip. Exhale down. Inhale to a light flip. Okay. And you may allow the head to fall and then hold there. You may rub the shin bone using the other leg. And then rise and then changing. Right. 
and then feel more of the side to side. You might add the shoulder. Yeah. As you fall, <laughs> let the shoulder open. Good. Yeah, opening the shoulders too, this one. Yeah. And then just crawl forward if you need, like this. And then side to side them, kicking the leg, and change it. All right. Next will be the flapping fish, extending one side forward, and bending the knee, rest the head down. And then you do this, like the tail of the fl fish flapping. Well, releasing the head flexor and the shoulder. And you may find the leg side to side, circle around. Good. You might even turn one side. Well, and then cupping the head. And then grabbing hold of the leg, use a hand to massage the foot. Yeah. If the head is heavy, you can just rest your forehead or your, your head over. Your arm, and just stay here. Yeah. Knee stretch. Mm. Yeah. Feel free to turn and explore the other positions of the legs. You may open like a diamond leg there with the foot yeah, bending towards the opposite direction and the head looks away. Good. That's good. Yeah. And then flip over like this. Stretch the shoulder. You may move your body away from your shoulder joints and turn open. You may you know, fold back inside and then flip over like that. You feel it. Yeah. If the shoulders is heavy, yeah, you can just do what side to side like this. Yeah. Yeah. Or you may want to try and then roll over that shoulder, but don't strain. Okay, and from there, rubbing your spine forward, like this, yeah, and then swimming the legs, and then side to side them. All right, you might do a mild chest stretch, yeah, like the sphinx pose, breathing in, open up, and exhale, soften down. And breathing in, can just keep your forearms down or extended elbows. Yeah, not too much. Yeah, maybe just two or three repetitions. Yeah, resting after each. Yeah, beautiful. All right, and then change your legs and then this. Your head falls to the side, circle around. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale as the knee circles out. Exhale as it opens forward. Or you can reverse the breath pattern to inhale as your foot moves closer to your buttock. Exhale to release a leg and then find that leg side to side. You know, limping. And then just turn over. You can extend the shoulder by cupping the head. And then hunt the foot. And open and rotate. Yeah, crawl forward. Yeah, open and rotate. Reach forward. Yeah, opening the up and using the hand to bind. So you can access uh, those deep muscles inside the hip. Good. And then you may allow that foot to rest. Yeah, limping. Yeah, open the arm. Yeah, let it soften. Relax. Good. All right, and release the leg, flip over that shoulder, and then come back, yeah, flip over that shoulder, and then come back. Right, so how do you breathe this one? Inhaling, exhaling, one more, breathing in, breathing out. All right, and back to the middle. Right, extension yeah, to level uh, spine, to level the hips. Yeah, don't strain the neck. You may look over one shoulder there and crawl forward like the caterpillar. Yeah. Coiling, twisting, turning, yeah, rubbing. And, and then turn the other way. Right, and lift up. 
Well done, Excel. Okay, now hands pressed. Yeah, and just press up the kneel position. Yeah, knees hug to the middle. Yeah, let your joints relax on that smooth, soft uh, cushion, rubbing forward and then gliding backwards, hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. Good. All right, and shift the weight forward. Yeah, you may just kneel on one side or set and rolling on the joints and then lie on your back. All right, you might place your hands under your skull and then just fanning easy first, side to side, like this. Yeah. And feeling light, you may lift already. Uh, you may lift the shoulder, don't strain the low back, it's more of your body moving from side to side. Okay. And then you may add some knee swinging there, like this. If one side is tight, uh, you may focus on the side for a few repetitions of the circles. And then changing. My wiring is getting in the way. And just circle around. Yes. Right. Uh, to release the yeah, adductor muscles, the inner leg, away from the creases of the hip. Go as yeah, deep as you're able. And then this is done the skin to skin. Yeah, so you have the grit. Right. And then changing again, other side. You may even massage like this inside. Right. In the calf too. Beautiful. Maybe the tongue there if you feel. Yeah. Okay, from there, you're know, hugging the knees and then circle them around. All right, so let's read this one. Inhale as they move close. Oh, it feels good. Exhale away. And breathing in. And breathing out. Keep going. Inhaling. And exhaling. And then reversing the direction of the circle. And then you may even reverse the breath pattern. Exhale as you hug them. Inhale as you move them forward. Good. And you combine half circle and full circle. Half around the front. And then full inward. Good. And then hugging and releasing this. Okay. And from there, yeah. Just open the arms and let the legs fall to one side for an easy reclining twist. You might look away. Yeah. Don't be stressed, leveling the hips. Do what feels good for your low back. Yeah. 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 You can explore now. Yeah. You may keep the legs and the knees together. Yeah. You may look away. Now it's important to breathe with inhaling. And exhaling. All right, then rise. Yeah. <laughs> Changing, you may start with easy twist there with both knees there, nice and relaxed. Periodically lifting the head if you need, and then back, and then one more that side with the legs hugging together. If you're using prop, you can even place something here. So you can relax. Yes. So let me just show you. Since you're practicing at home, yeah, you can hold the posture as long as you need. Yeah, this one, yes, supported prop yeah, twist. Yeah. And what it does, yeah, you can allow your lower back yeah, to even uh, fall heavily on that cushion. Yeah. Your pillow. Yeah. Folded bl blanket, if you have like a bolster, you can do that. All right, and let's do one more, other side, yeah? I feel like doing this one 
for my left hip. Oh, looks good. No? And I would normally finish yeah, with that elevation, just under the upper back, yeah, for a supported chest stretch. And then just rub away from the joints by shifting side to side. All right, and with that elevation, not too high, yeah, just to give you that light lift in the chest. And you feel the breath opens. And then just explore the position of the arms. You may rest the hands under the head if you feel like drowning. And you may rest the head nice and flat. Good. And then just stay, you know? Relaxing, breathing. If you drift and fall asleep, you know, be it. You know? Good. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, enjoy the rest of this stretch. Yeah, namaste. Yeah, have a lovely day. Yeah.